Hey guys, what's happening? It's Ike from Flipside Music here in uh, downtown Denver. Well, close to downtown Denver. Uh, I just want to do a quick unboxing video. We got a couple new guitars in from Balaguer Guitars. Uh, if you're not familiar with Balaguer Guitars, they are a small builder in PA, Pennsylvania, for those of you that may be out of the country or just don't know shit. Um, so Joe Balaguer is actually a luthier. Builds guitars, designs all the guitars. Um, if you don't know, he's also making a signature model for Ryan Bruce, which you may know as Fluff. If you don't know Fluff, he's got a pretty pretty sizable YouTube channel. Um, it's filled with a lot of good knowledge and musical goodness. Uh, so he's building his new Hyperion signature model, which is going to be pretty cool. It's good. Uh, Pretty awesome design. We'll probably have those coming in too. Uh, but either way, I just want to do a quick unboxing video, let you guys see the goodness that is Balaguer Guitars. And uh, yeah, that's it. Let's do this shit. All right, hang on. I got to go get some coffee. Ah, uh, caffeinated beverages. Here we go, little plug, Dunkin' Donuts. Everybody's driving on Dunkin'! Or something like that, is that what they say? America runs on Dunkin', bam! I do. It's cause I'm a small business owner and I don't sleep for shit. All right, let's get to, let's get to getting. There again, I do not pre-open the boxes, so. Makes you feel any better. This is really good packing tape. It's not the cheap crap. Insert music here. Oh. Packing peanuts. I hate this crap. It's good stuff. We need it. We need to keep everything safe. But man, I hate packing peanuts. That crap gets everywhere. Everywhere. Let's see what we got in the box. First off, we got one of these. Oh yeah. Check it out. Balaguer Guitars. Let's see what size is that. <laughs> Ain't gonna fit. But it is all good. This one will probably fit. Maybe. So anyway, if you're a large and you order this Balaguer guitar, I'm gonna give you that shirt. This one I'm keeping for me. All right, let's move on to the good stuff. Here we go. This is the part that I hate. Okay. Keep, keep it contained. Keep it com contained. That is a lot of packing amounts. If you order some pedals and stuff from us, or I should say when you order pedals and stuff from us. You may see these packing peanuts. We do like to recycle here at, in Colorado. All right, so let's see what we got here, kids. So when I talk to Joe, he makes sure that he quality controls all these guitars before they go out. Uh, he does USA made, and he has his import stuff. And the import stuff is affordable, well manufactured. He uses a, uh, he doesn't use a large um, factory. In Korea, he uses a very small uh, Korean factory, which specializes in, um, well, they just do very good work, very detailed work. Uh, Joe is very much hands-on when it comes to the, his guitars. He physically knows how to build them, so it's not, a, uh, you know, just a, a design element kind of thing. He, you know, 
pays attention. Once they get to him, he does do a QC and goes over it to make sure that the guitars are in 100% working condition and that they are perfect. So let's look at this bad boy. This is the Growler. Look at that. Oh boy. Trying to get it without all that shine. Check that out. Belgare guitars. Wow, this neck is beautiful. Cool locking tuners, ebony fretboard. Not exactly sure what the pickups are. Like I said, I will do a review next week. We'll get something out. Bolt on neck. Very light. I think this is Karina. It has to be Karina. Yeah, it looks like Karina. It doesn't have to be, but it looks like it is. Two piece body, belly cut, which I always get. That's nice. I'd say about a C shape neck. Really beautiful. That's awesome. Let's check it out again. Maybe I should set the camera up a little closer, but you guys will get the idea. God, get that shine off of it. There we go. Here's the first look. We'll do more in depth next week. All right. Comes with the trim bar, some Balaguer picks, and truss rod adjustment toolage it's a pretty cool that was the growler growler vintage burst so now we're moving on to the thicket which is kind of the one that i really was digging on because i'm kind of a telly guy ish i do like my telly styles but i do like humbuckers my i got an old mexican telecaster Ruby and Ruby is about due for an upgrade to humbuckies. All right, so next one. This is the thicket. Oh man. Oh man, already I like it. Here again, more adjustment tools. Ooh, black hardware. Sea foam green. That's right. Not sea low green. Sea foam green. Woo! Look at that bad boy. Check that out. Belly cut. Full bolt. Maple neck, it's really nice. Locking tuners. There again, Balaguer guitars. Really sweet looking guitar. Maple neck, C shape. Not real thin C shape though. This is about a classic style, but nothing, you know, not real thin, which is great for giant bear paw hands. That's a pretty solid guitar, so check it out. Here, I'm going to walk around. Balligate guitars. This one is the Thicket. Check it out. Seafoam green. That's pretty awesome. Sorry about the lights, guys. I didn't even think about that. Maple neck. Pretty cool headstock, too. I dig it. And it's angled, too, so... Get your appropriate brake angle, which is pretty awesome. So that's it, guys. Just a really quick look. I know it's already like a 10-minute video and whatever, but um, real quick look, Balaguer Guitars. Stay tuned for um, you know full review on these. We'll do that probably something coming out next week. I have a couple other reviews that we're going to be throwing out there. Um, and also tomorrow is uh, 1st of April, April Fool's Day, but it's also the first Friday, which makes it April's FSF number four. 
I think. So tune in tomorrow. We'll have Free Shit Friday number four. I'm not sure what we're getting away because I haven't picked it yet. It won't be this, but it'll be something. So thanks for tuning in. I'll see you guys later. I'll catch you guys on the flip side. You're on the Dr. Phil show. A problem is that you're into yourself, that you flirt with girls, that you're not plugged into your marriage. You're in the green room hitting on my staff. What the hell are you?